Okay, so we have another example here on elimination of arbitrary constants. So, subukan natin uh, kunin ang equivalent uh, differential equation nito by eliminating our constant C1 and C2. So, we have our solution here. Okay, so we have our solution. So, first we copy the given equation. Then we get the first derivative, so we will di differentiate this one. So this will become y prime my is equal to 2x plus 2c1 e to the 2x plus 3c2 e to the 3x. Then we will get the second derivative, so we will differentiate this equation. So we have y double prime is equal to 2 plus. 4c1 e to the 2x plus 9c2 e to the 3x. Then we will transpose uh, the the terms on the right side of each equation to sa kabila sa left side. So our equations now will become so we have y minus x squared minus c1 e to the 2x minus c2 e to the 3x. And then that will be equal to 0 and this will be our equation 1 then for the third one here so this will be y prime minus 2x minus uh, 2 c1 e to the 2x minus 3 c2 e to the 3x is equal to 0 and this will be our equation 2 then for the last equation we have y double prime minus 2 minus 4 c1 e to the 2x minus 9 c2 e to the 3x is equal to 0 and this will be our equation 3 then we will create the equivalent uh, matrix form so we have here the terms that has x y the terms that has c1 e to 2x so we will get the coefficients for this one in the c2 e to the 3x then we will write here equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 so for equation 1 so for equation 1 that will be um, y minus x squared the terms that has x and y so y minus x squared for c1 the coefficient is negative 1 for c2 this is negative 1 also for equation 2 this is y minus 2x then negative 2 is the coefficient of c1 e to the 2x tapos negative 3 and then the last one so y prime yeah. so y double prime minus 2 minus 4 minus 9 Okay, so we have now our matrix, so this will be equal to 0. So we will get the, the, the determinants of this matrix by uh, using the pivotal method. So this will be our first pivot. So this one will be uh, eliminated, this line will be neglected. So we have this our matrix. So we have y minus x squared. So our matrix is negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. 9 negative 9 okay and we have minus because the pivotal method is plus minus plus minus so our second term will be uh, minus so this will be 1 y prime minus 2x okay so this will be our pivot so this will be not considered and this one also will not be considered so we have negative 1 negative 1 then we have negative 4 then negative 9 okay then we have plus okay plus so this will be y double prime minus 2 then so this is our pivot so this will be not considered not considered so our matrix is negative 1 negative 1 negative 4 and negative 9 and this will be equal to 0 so now we will get the the determinants of the 2 by 2 matrix or matrices we have y 
minus x squared. So we have negative 2 times negative 9, that is negative, uh, that is positive 18, minus negative 3 times negative 4, that will be 12, okay? Minus y, my, y prime 2x, okay? Then we have negative 1 times negative 9, that will be 9, negative 1 times negative 4, that's, that will be 4, so that will be minus 4. We have plus y double prime minus 12. So we have negative 9 times negative, negative 1 times negative 9. So that, that will be 9 again. So I believe this is not 9. So we have a little mistake in this part. Okay, so then correct natin to para hindi tayo magkamali sa ating solution. Okay, so this will be, the pi boat is this one. So this will be negative 2 negative 3 so sorry for that so we just erase this one tapos ibuguhin natin dito so this will be 3 positive 3 so we have negative 1 times 3 at uh, times negative 3 and that will be positive 3 positive 3 then this will be negative 1 times negative 2 this will be 2 positive 2 so minus 2 is equal to 0 then we have we will simplify this one so we have y minus x squared so 12 18 minus 12 and that will be times 6 minus y prime minus 2x that will be 9 minus 4 5 plus so let's have some more space below so we have y double prime minus 12 3 minus 2 and that will be 1 this will be equal to 0 then we will distribute so you have 6y minus 6x squared so let's just first retain the negative or the minus so let's just distribute this one in the group so 5y prime minus 10x plus so this is 1 so that will just become y prime minus this is not 12 i believe this is 2 okay, so we have 2 so sorry for again that so we have a little clerical error so this will be 2 this will be 2 okay for those of you who have uh, from the start have already uh, managed to see the clerical error so good for you you have a uh, uh, in eyes okay so this will be minus so we have here negative this will be minus 2 is equal to 0 so then we will distribute the negative sign to this group so we have 6y minus 6x squared minus 5y prime plus 10x plus y double prime minus 2 is equal to 0 then we will group the the y's no? so we, we will first write the from the highest order derivative to the lowest so we have y double prime y double prime then we have minus okay so, so Okay, minus 5y prime plus 6y so the one that remain will be in terms of x we have minus 6x squared plus 10x minus 2 is equal to 0 we will transpose the x and the constant to the other side of the equation so that we will be we will have y double prime minus 5y plus 6y uh, is equal to this will be positive so 6x squared this will be negative negative 10x plus 2 and this now will be the answer so I hope you learned something from this video so thank you for watching 
and as always keep on studying